hello ladies men and wonderful human beings and my enlightening strikes welcome back to my channel love you guys so much so today i wanted to talk about um dignity so dignity is a lost art it's a lost art because of social media you can make money having a lack of dignity and so not that making money is wrong and i'm not here to knock anyone's business strategy but when it comes to dignity let me just tell you the stories in my life um with men i've dated or businesses i've started or just people in general dignity is something as a long-term um strategy it has an energetically kind of like the frequencies of it when i look at it is have you ever been like let's say you come into a restaurant and oh my god sorry now now i'm getting agitated and then the workers are so rude to you and then you or even like you're behind the counter and you're dealing with somebody being rude to you the automatic reaction of it is to be rude is to be rude back but when you hold dignity energetically long term you feel so much robust in how you process that information now is this going to be every time every time you're going to be giving out an aura of you know i go high i they go low no right like no because ultimately like even for example on the internet i get trolls i get comments i get weird people who will try and approach me but on the internet this is there's um there is a slight leeway that you can not hold dignity and that means it, as long as it's for comedic comedic stripe so on the internet you'll see someone like <laughs> you'll see that in an, on the internet somebody will have this air of they're better than you I don't know, just kind of like a, they have like, oh, I'm so much better than this person. But then when they get canceled, they're on camera crying. And saying, oh, when they get too many hate comments, they're on camera crying. Or they'll have, they, they, they come and then when they didn't create a safe space on their page. And then when they need a safe space to be vulnerable, they don't get it. They don't get it at all because you never created that. You never allowed that to be the dominant frequency of your page. And so then you'll see them crying or crying on camera or hold, throwing a hissy fit and saying, everybody doesn't like me. Everybody doesn't like me. So last night in my dream, I had a dream that I was being interviewed by a panel and then everybody in the crowd started making fun of me. Like everybody starts pointing out my flaws and saying this about me. And I remember handling it like, well, I think I'm done here. I wasn't arguing back. I went to my family and didn't even cry. And I didn't even, I really didn't. <laughs> um, everyone was making fun of me. There was probably a crowd of like 250 people and people were just talking so much shit about me. And I just went and I didn't even cry. Like I didn't have any effect on me which I think that's just how it is for me even now. Like when I get trolls, it really doesn't have any effect on me, um, which I'm so glad it doesn't because if I had came on the internet when I was like 19, because I always say like, I wish I started my YouTube channel earlier. Like girl, if you got that level of hate that you were getting now, you would you would have been on the camera crying about that too. Now it's like, um, I just go head to head with my trolls. Like, what? what's up? Like, what's up? Like, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Can you at least show your face before you start hating on me? Can you at least show your face? And so, um, you know, that's just the bare minimum. I, I, I cannot take your comments seriously if you can't show your face. So, dignity. Let's say that were to happen in real life. Holding a dignity where you're not crying, you're not allowing yourself to be taken down from being bullied for your opinion it's my opinion it's not like I, it's an opinion right you can't get let get the let that boggle you down because to me letting people's opinions shut you up 
is the equivalent to dying. Um, and dying to your truth and dying to what you truly, truly believe. You're dead. And that me. so if you shut up, to me, to me, this is just my personal opinion, you're as good as, you know, you've just, it's just death. It's just death. And I understand you need, sometimes you need to like keep the peace. But do you, what happens if you don't? Will you die? Will you die forever? And, and I've been in numerous, like so many different environments where people just always throw stones at me, for my opinion. Numerous environments, even friend groups, my family, online, my high school, my college, all the time. People always throw rocks at people who speak the truth or speak at, speak what they feel is truly, truly true. And I don't know about you, but I'm still here. And so that's a remarkable skill to have because a lot of people they save peace they keep peace they see the same problems they see the same they feel the same pain but they still they keep their mouth shut they don't say anything they let what other people think like who are you they always ask like who the hell are you especially when someone's shouting on you for to me when someone's shouting at you that's just a power play and i promise you if you start shouting back they'll just leave you they'll leave you alone because it's just a power thing it's a power thing. it's a way to dominate over your energetics and um, in those situations, it is an act of dignity to say something back, but it's also an, an act of dignity to also see that sometimes people are crazy. They're crazy and most people can't see it, but I'll see it. So when it comes to having dignity, it is a long-term choice. And now in the, like seeing my whole life, a lot of, I would think I would hold dignity about 70% of the time, unless they were absolutely antagonizing me, right? Because some of you guys antagonize me. You just leave comment, uncomment after hate. Like, are you, do you need a job? Like, there is, I have, in my description, there's 30 business ideas for $30. There's no excuse why you don't have a YouTube channel sharing your opinion like you do in my comments. Like, go share. Go share how, go share your opinion. Like, there's no excuse. There's none. Over here, I always recommend everyone start a YouTube channel. It is so easy. If you may have a thousand subscribers, you are in the top 10% of YouTube channels. That's how easy it is. It's like you don't even have to have 10,000 subscribers. You're in the top 10%. And so now I'm moving into almost 700 subscribers. Yeah, almost 700 subscribers. And I've been doing this for four months. And I wasn't even doing it consistently. Now I've just picked up the pace because I'm, I'm loving the feedback. I'm loving the energy. So save your energetic power and and try and have whole dignity, especially if you're a woman, um, especially if you're a black woman, because there's just so many people just trying to steal your energy. So many people who want your energy. And when I say your energy, if you're a black woman or just a like a really pretty woman in general, um, people just want to steal your energy. I remember when I was working at Macy's, oh my God, that was, I was working at the perfume department, guys. And that was very interesting because, I mean, you would have married men just come up and start flirting. I'm like, you would, he would be flirting with you and then he'd be like, so who's the perfume for? Thinking he's going to say his mom. He's like, oh, it's for my wife. Okay. That will be $200. <laughs> or, um, I would just be standing, uh, working, sometimes working, and don't let me, don't let me make eye contact with a black man. Don't. <laughs> don't make me, a, if, if I accidentally made eye contact with a black man, he would walk all the, all the way across the store and just, he didn't even know if he wants to buy perfume. All he's doing is just follow me around. Can I, can I try this perfume? Can I try this perfume? Can I smell it on you? Da, 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 da. Just, they cannot leave you alone. And so for me, I had to draw firm boundaries. Like, oh my gosh, you cannot just waste my time for nothing. Like, I, I'm here to work. I'm here to work. This is a job. This is a working environment. Okay. So please. Um, and, you know, I was, and so for me, um, there's just so many people who want to take your beauty. And even in that job, like, 
There are people who spite you. There are people who leave bad you co-workers who will leave bad reviews and ultimately especially if you're pretty that can take away your dignity but if you are in those environments where people are like just absolutely just trying to rape your energetics rape them um leave start a youtube channel at least get paid to look good okay paid adequately okay because youtube pays a thousand dollars for a thousand views you get ten dollars okay ten to thirty dollars do the math right so, um, never be afraid to, it, so in those environments, I held my dignity, but I did not want to, I did not, oh my gosh, I did not want to do that. I did not care. Um, I it was, felt like I was just biting my tongue, biting my tongue. I felt like a heating kettle, like, Shh, just leave me alone and let me work, please leave me alone and let me work. Um, so where, what do you think? you can do to make sure that you are adding more dignity into your life um in small ways whether that's like dressing up and or maybe this time instead of allowing your eyeshadow to look um clumpy you blend it out really well or let's say you just decide to do your eyebrows or let's say you you like for me i need to paint my nails or dealing with arguments for me you will never get an argument out of me you will never get an argument out of me ever because I also realize with when you're trying to be pretty or you're trying to be presentable or you're a woman who's intelligent or you're just a woman in general, people who, who don't know how to talk to women, they just start arguments, right? They start, they find problems because they don't know how to talk to you. It's too intimidating to talk to you. So the best is let's ruin her reputation. The best is let's tell her some flaw about her. Let's tell her this. Let's tell her some flaw because it's so intimidating and so uncomfortable because they know they don't do the inner work to present and shine like you. They don't do the inner work to heal. They wonder how you are in a positive mood, but they are not. It's because I spend hours and hours and hours doing inner work. <laughs> hours, days, weeks, months. It's hours and hours doing inner work and it comes to the point when you've done so much inner work you're not gonna let some bozo you're not gonna let some bozo take you down you're not gonna no you're not gonna do it you you have no desire to do it um no you're not going to do it and so when it comes to having dignity always remind yourself that it's your heart your heart that you are trying to protect that people may under, misunderstand. You can be the nicest person. I swear to God. You could be the nicest person. But just because someone thinks you are prettier than them, they will find some other flaw. Because to be pretty and nice and intelligent and smart and caring and actually take care of yourself and actually have dignity and actually not be easily manipulated is completely foreign. It's like, okay, so where's the flaws? To be talented as well, to have as not as much knowledge as you want, like where does it stop? Like stop shining. And so they subconsciously try to tear them down just like their subconscious mind tears them down when they are trying to achieve those goals. And this can happen with family members. This can happen with anybody. This can happen with your own best friend. And I'm not saying don't trust them. I'm just saying that that's the nature of psychology. That's the nature of human beings. It's the crab thing. And you have to hold your dignity. Even though no know when to speak and know when it's like, this is just going to drain me. This is going to take so much more of my points away from me. So that's what I wanted to say about dignity. And um, don't let anyone manipulate you, because also with women, if you, oh my God, they it's a it's a never ending, moving target. So if you hold self respect, then they will come for you that you're too modest. If you're too modest, they'll be like, but she's not, she doesn't have that shine on her, or like she does not um, modern. And if you're too modern, then they'll say that you're. Um, you're not a good fit and then for a traditional wife and then when you're a traditional wife they say but you're not the sexy stripper and when you're the sexy stripper you're not the traditional wife so therefore you we can't give you respect so it's like it's a never-ending moving target so this is also why i say love yourself know who you are what is your standard 
Because whatever your standard is, whoever you choose to be, is non-negotiable. Other people can say and put their inputs and you're more than welcome, but you don't get the final say. And so a lot of people think they have the final say on your beauty or the final say of your business or the final say of how you look or the final say of what you deserve in marriage or what you deserve in family or what you deserve in friendship. They think they have the final say, but ultimately you have the final say. They don't even have the final say of their own life. Like they don't. And so why do you, they, they're, it, it's, you don't have to listen to them because they're going to move the goalposts. Once you listen to them, they'll say, that's not enough. You need to do this. And then once you listen to them again, that's not enough. You need to do this. And when you listen to them again, it's you, that's not enough. Do this. And when you're perfect, they'll be like, she's perfect. I don't like her. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll just be my authentic self and I'll attract the people who want to attract, be around me and I'll repel greatly the people who I don't want to be around me. So from what I, this is what I wanted to say. And, um, my course goddess glow is down below. Metaphysics of fasting is down below. And I've been thinking about making a course on beauty and how I use my methods of manifesting in beauty and manifesting my, cause actually let's put that in a different video. Let's just say that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.